Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today we have an unboxing. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the unboxing. So I just got this in uh, a few hours ago and I did unbox it for TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. I'm posting every single day, twice a day as of right now. And I've been doing that for about two weeks. So go follow me over there. But I do want to go ahead and do like a cute little unboxing on YouTube as well. So that's what we're gonna do. So I actually got this from Amazon, believe it or not, because I tried to find this colorway on the actual brand's website and I could not find it. I tried finding it on Farfetch, could not find it. I tried finding it on like 24S and like Saks or Nordstrom or whoever it was, I could not find this color. It was either just not available or sold out. So I found it on Amazon and I went ahead and bought it. I do know that it, it, it is real. It comes with all of the stuff, like the authenticity card and everything. Look. Can you see already? I definitely have been wanting this bag. I've spoken about it in the past. Here is the little dust bag. Look how cute it is. Can you see the Marc Jacobs? Without any further ado. Look at her, oh my God. This is, of course, the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag, and it's in the mini size. And I got mine in the color Twine. I don't know if it was like a discontinued color, I don't know if it's sold out and Marc Jacobs just hasn't restocked it, or if it's just really hard to find, if they can't really keep it in stock, I have no idea. And then she does have a zipper on the front, which I really, really like. It keeps everything nice and secure. And ooh, that's a smooth zipper. Oh my goodness. Also on the side right here, if you notice that the actual zipper pull is longer than the width of the bag, that's just to help you fit bigger items inside the bag without having to like kind of maneuver it in a weird way it could just kind of go right in just so you don't have to have this little tongue hanging off the end i'm sure if you've seen any other mark jacobs unboxing videos you've seen this but it has a little loop on the side that has a magnet on the inside and then this right here also has a magnet and it just attaches to this little guy here's the inside She's very, very spacious. It does come with its own crossbody strap that's in the same color. It has these gold clasps and then it says Marc Jacobs on the front and it, everything is in gold hardware. And it is a adjustable strap, of course. And it's just a long thin strap. I kind of wish that they would have made it a thicker kind of guitar strap like it is on the canvas versions. But I guess to make it more fancy, they went with a thin leather strap. This bag on the back, it says the Marc Jacobs style tote bag location, New York City, year 1984. Very, very cute. And then let me just kind of do a close up if I can. On camera, the color is not coming off as well as I would like to. And this was kind of an issue that I had when I was looking at other videos because I didn't know this color existed until I actually saw it on another person's YouTube video. The issue that I kept having is that I couldn't really tell what kind of color it was. I thought it was more of this color, like my sweater, but I'm glad it's not. It actually does have like a tiny bit more brown to it. Like I thought in the pictures that it was going to be just straight up beige but you can tell there is a little bit of difference between my sweater and this bag but again in person it kind of looks like a light latte or like a I don't know how to really explain it but it's definitely not like very dark they do have like a caramel color which I 
love and that's the one that I thought that I was going to end up getting. But then I saw this color because I'm like, it's getting into spring and summer. Let me get a more light color because I do not have a bag like this in my collection. Something very casual, very cute. It does not have any feet. I wish it did. I think that would have really just elevated this bag. Maybe they couldn't add it to keep the price point what it is. This bag does retail for 375 doll hairs. I will have this linked also in the description. I'll have it linked on my Amazon storefront. So if you want this exact bag, it's there. And they also have the red one and they have the black one on Amazon as well. So they might add more, I'm not sure, but this color is on there currently. On the inside, it has one big open pocket. Oh yeah. See, it even has the like authentic authentication, authenticity cards. I'll just keep that in here. But it has one really large pocket back here that you could fit, I don't know, your phone, actually. You could fit your phone in there. And then it also has a smaller little pocket right here that you can maybe fit like a hair tie or I don't know, some change or something. And then on the other side, does not have any other pockets. So other than that, it's just an open hole. But I do kind of want to see what fits inside just because I this is a pretty big bag. It's the mini size, but this is probably the biggest bag that I have out of everything, except for maybe my coach tabby bag. This is probably the biggest. We'll see what fits inside. My goodness, I actually have some things in here that I want to try to fit in this bag that I never, never would have tried with like my other bags. So first off, I want to see if my agenda will fit in here. I have a feeling that it's going to fit no problem. It does. It fits. Oh my God. I've been wanting to try to find an agenda, like a bag that actually fits my agenda. It fits. Like literally no issues. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. And then I also wanted to try to like fit my AirPods in here. Like these are my AirPods Max. They fit. I don't know where I would take these, but I'm just, you know, thinking, does it fit? Yes, it fits, but does it zip closed? That's the question now because the AirPods Max are kind of tall. It does. It zips closed, y'all. Oh my goodness. So I've got those in there. And then of course I've got like regular phone stuff. I know this would fit sunglasses. I don't have any upstairs where I am right now, um, but I know this would fit sunglasses and a sunglasses case. I'm so excited. So I've got my card holder. It'll just kind of, you can just throw things in here, gum and lipstick or like a trapstick from Dior that can go in. Oh, I might actually put the gum in that tiny little front pocket. That'll be nice. And then the lipstick can go in there. I have like another lip oil. I've got also some pins and stuff that is for my journal, like my agenda. Those can just kind of go on the side. My phone that is a iPhone 14 Pro Max that can go in that oh, it fits <gasps> does it actually did i speak too soon no it does oh my god it fits just like right in that small pocket back here and then i've just got like a claw clip that can sneak inside <laughs> i don't know and then like a travel fragrance as well that can just kind of go in and also one thing that I wanted to try, I don't think that I'm gonna get it in here with the AirPods Max. I don't know where I would actually take these anyways. So I'm gonna take those out and then I actually wanna see if I can like fit this in here because normally, or like just imagine if this is a water bottle or something. Can you fit a water bottle standing up inside of here? It fits, but it doesn't close. And I think that having it closed is pretty important. So I would probably just keep the AirPods Max in here if it came to that. And then just put everything else like on the side. <laughs> and everything fits, you guys. Oh my God. It's pretty heavy though. Let me tell you right now, it's pretty heavy. 
Um, I think that if you had like the crossbody strap on or something, it wouldn't be that bad. I mean, the AirPods and the agenda are definitely making it super duper heavy. So I think it just depends on what you actually put in here, how heavy it's gonna be. I would not typically carry my agenda and AirPods Max around everywhere. <laughs> I was just trying to see what would fit in here. But one thing that I am so excited about is that, that I'm gonna be able to fit a actual full size sunglasses case in here and not have to put my expensive sunglasses in just like a microfiber little pouch or something. I'm so happy about that. But you guys, that is the unboxing. I did just want to quickly show you what it looks like with the strap attached. Oh, also one thing that I will say about these is that they swivel. So it doesn't matter which way that you actually attach it to the bag. It'll always end up being the correct way, so. Here is how it looks with the strap attached. And then honestly, I see a lot of people just wearing both of them, like having the strap on and then also carrying it like this. So you can definitely do that as well. Or you can just wear it cross body or you can just wear it as a top handle. I don't think you can wear it as a shoulder bag. No, you can't. I don't think you can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. That's what the strap, like the leather strap is for. So yes, you can. But yeah, you have a bunch of different ways to wear this. And I just think it's the cutest little thing. I think that my AirPods look ridiculous because they like poke out. They like really kind of deform the bag. So I don't think that I would ever actually carry these with me. Seriously? I think that I'd probably need to get an organizer for this bag because my stuff is literally just flopping around in here. There's not very many pockets. I do think that this bag would benefit from an organizer. She's so cute. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it. That has been my unboxing of the Marc Jacobs Mini the tote bag in the color twine. I really hope they enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the color. Let me know what you think of the bag. Let me know if you have this bag as well and what your thoughts have been, uh, any pros or cons. Leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I wanna know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.